over an hour to get here. I bet, I bet the last bit was down the road. Oh, like right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's better to take so on. Um, Sorry, it said to London, I think we're on not 25. It's going to be at quarter two. Just, I'm sorry if I'm repeating something already oh, told you, but he's coming at quarter two. Oh. Most helpful stuff you've done for months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it looks like it could do with ironing. Sit down, please. Heads down, guys. Thank you. Sorry, he's going to do a bit too. Yeah. He's going to go and knock on the door. The mics are here. Guys, can you move? Can you move out of the way, please? Yeah. Yeah. Just over here. And the light. We weren't hearing by the mics. Oh, okay. You want to come closer to the mic, please? Come closer to the mic, please. Closer again, sorry. Okay. Hey, mate. You want to move closer? Yep. Yeah. Thank you all for good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you all for coming and uh, for this. Um, I'm Min Hain and my from Myanmar community and both you then from Myanmar community as well. Um, he, I'm here, we are here just on behalf of Myanmar community and helping uh, for the. We, we're going to be reading out this joint statement. Um, they, they for our ambassador to the UK, Mr. Chozomi, who is accredited by Her Majesty since 2014. On 9 on March, he took the unusual step, issuing the joint statement with the UK Foreign Office in condemning the coup and the calling for the restoring the democracy in Myanmar. And the ambassador called for the release of our state councillor, Aung San Suu Kyi, and our president, Wu Wenmin. He has also called for the uh, result of the, the 2020 election to be respected. <clears throat> um, we have been in contact with uh, respected uh, for those all these points uh, um, we are also support for his what he has done and we have also as a community we have also been in contact with CRPH and the CR, the, according to the, our ambassador he will be working with the CRPH and he will, he will work with anyone who will Bring democratic change in Myanmar, and Ambassador has the full support from of the CRPH. Due to his announcement in March, the Ambassador has been recalled by the Myanmar military regime. Since then, he stopped following instruction from Myanmar Foreign Ministry, 
and he has been meeting with many diplomatic counterparts and Myanmar community to discuss the current situation in Myanmar, hoping to find a peaceful solution. Due to his stand, the Myanmar embassy in London has been seized by the military attache yesterday evening. The, the ambassador has been locked out since then. There was a coup in Myanmar in February, now in a similar situation in central London. Um, same situation in central London. This, this is an assertive and disrespectful, not only to the people of Myanmar, but it also clearly disrespectful to all the democratic society in the UK. Now, the Myanmar embassy was taken over since yesterday evening by Minister Councillor Dr. Che Wen, who has seen control of the embassy with the assistance of the military attache. <clears throat> Since yesterday evening, we have been waiting for the UK Foreign Office for a response on this matter. We have just also, we, are, we have also learned that the, the uh, military, uh, the Dr. Che Wen team are threatening the embassy staff with severe punishment. If those staff do not continue to work for the military gender. Um, yes, we have full faith in the UK government not to recognize the military council of Myanmar and not to follow the military council request to install Dr. Che Win as the Chengdi uh, affair, but to stand with the democratically elected government of Myanmar and its people people of Myanmar. Therefore, we believe the UK government would not back those who are working for the military gender. And we also would like to urge UK government to send, back, send them back the send military attache and uh, as the UK government has done rightfully in the past. In the course of the last two months, the ambassador has been dealing with both of with Foreign Secretary Mr. Dominic Robb and the Ministry of State for Asia Mr. Ninja Adam. He has, he has no doubt that they are true friends of Myanmar. UK government has been at the front line of the diplom diplomatic effort at the United UN Security Council, Human Rights Council, and other international organizations as well as our regional partner in ASEAN. He has full faith that UK government will continue to demonstrate their rejection of the unlawful military regime and the support for those working to bring democracy in Myanmar. He trying to walk in the middle ground, but there is no doubt which is the right side. The military council has killed nearly 600 people, including 48 children. They have adapted a day, uh, the detain thousand. The United Nations reporter for human rights have determined that they are actually likely to meet the legal test for the crime against humanity. It is important to show the military that UK does not approve what it's doing and to hit its own people. This is a start with denying with the representative of the respectable and democratic accreditation. We again call for the UK government to deny the military council <clears throat> respectively and legitimacy. It does not deserve by continue you know, to work with those people. We call on again the UK government specifically to refuse to work with the charity cha affair that Dr. Che Win that the military council have nominated. Indeed, any other ambassador that they might, they might be, they might try to nominate in future. We also call on UK government to declare the military attache person and to repute further exchange with the military attache in, in line with the president. So thank you all for coming and for your support. Thank you. Will the ambassador be making any statements? Oh, um, I'll take your questions. If, if, if you have the... Uh,
A few questions. So, will you... One question, I will... Oh, yes. Uh, you may pass it to the, our email. Um, I will write it down, the email to you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, showing he present in here, that means he, he approved that what we are supporting. Thank you.